Okay, this is a change of plans. This video was not... I wasn't intending on doing this video. That That's a good thing. I'm doing this video because I had two things that were a bias before I started to listen to this set. And bias is real, like you, you have a preconceived notions because of... Uh, one, I made the mistake of graphing it before I really listened to it, which is not a good idea. If you look at this graph, it's not bad, but it's got a dip at 4K and it's got elevated energy like the JQ Hua Jang and uh, a couple other sets that... Oh, the Shure Conductor, like elevated back there with the EST. It, it's seeming to not work with me. And I posted this in my community section and someone was instant like, oh, the, you know, hi-hats are going to sound maybe with too much energy. And I thought, that dude knows me. Like, I'm just moving right along with my thing. La, la, la. That looks good. This was gotten just for the channel's benefit because it's good to have. I mean, it's a quad bridge. So th this is the first bias. I'm looking at the graph and thinking, this is maybe not going to be my thing. I'm not angry. That's cool. I paid for this. Got it from Amazon.jp. It's the Japanese version. Uh, people are going to ask questions for it about it for a while because it's a quad brid and other companies are going to make quad brids and I can give an opinion on that because I got it. So no big deal. Wasn't wasn't really expecting too much. The second bias is just looking at something like this and I already knew before I got it. This is a bone conduction driver and it's that's what makes it a quad driver. So it's got it's got the dynamic driver, a graphene driver which I really like very much. 10 millimeter. It's got uh, EST ultra high 2 and then it's got four balanced armatures I believe so why a bone conduction driver what does that do does that have anything to do with the reason that I'm doing this video right now I, I couldn't even begin to estimate if that's the case I, I don't know symbols I can say that I listen to blind faith can't find my way home 27 second symbol strike um, no More No More by Aerosmith. I think it's 9 and 13 seconds, if I recall. And Fool in the Rain. And also, Hey, Hey, What Can I Do? Because he, he hits the he hits the Hyatt's, mm, the cymbals many times. They sounded absolutely fantastic. By the way, that's the Sony Xperia X1 II that I'm running the Unique Melody out of. And it, up at around 60%, it's fine. These are easy to drive. And the Sony is actually pretty impressive. I did my initial listening, listening with the Sony. And then I went to the Army. And, like, was this doing, like, the, the Calyx M? Like, a little bit of distortion is giving it a warm musical feel? Like, is something going on here? Put it with the Army, which I usually use. And it just was even more impressive so I, I'm looking at a graph and thinking this is not going to be my cup of tea that's okay don't don't worry about it and then I'm looking at you know it's a quad bridge. why why what's the point of a bone conduction driver which I think is something that they use in hearing aids and other stuff in a earphone like I literally thought that but again I, it wasn't a big deal what it's it's good for the channel you know what I mean to have it on there I will point out, this is Music Tech. I love this company. I know I've talked to the guy before. They sent me stuff that I paid for. Um, always comes quickly and everything's very smooth. My set doesn't look like this set. My set doesn't have this. Mine's a recessed two pin. Maybe that's what that is. I don't know. Mine doesn't have the screen on it. Mine has four bores on the end. And I'll do a close up when I do the review for this set. The other thing is. And please bear with me. When I was 10 years old, I, I took drum lessons. I wanted to be a drummer. One of the, I, I think I had a Led Zeppelin shirt on maybe the first time I went to class. And the teacher who was teaching drums wanted and, and said emphatically and insistingly that the beginning was going to start off with basic stuff. And the first phase of learning was going to be jazz. Jazz drums. You say that to a 10-year-old and... What is a 10-year-old going to think about that? I know now that that's kind of the root to a lot of stuff, but I didn't know that as a 10-year-old. I wanted to be Jump on him. I, I was wearing a shirt. Can this guy not talk? If he had told me... Let me get to this. Jump on is Fool in the Rain. Polyphonic. This is a, This is just awesome. I can, I'm listening to this in my head right now. Robert Plant's vocals in this are absolutely fantastic. The guitar 
is which has got a unique tuning in this jimmy page sounds absolutely brilliant and that this drum is awesome and this guy's teaching you how to do it right here he's doing really well with it too and this is an isolated version of Bonham. Everything else is cut out. This is Bonham in the studio laying down his track. He's, he's, I think it starts out with him saying, fucking bloody hell, or something like that. You can go ahead and watch this on YouTube. And uh, then the final one is, what makes John Bonham such a good drummer? And this is polyphonic. And he's explaining. So Bonham's in a 4-4 four, four and the guitar's in a 12-8. And I've been listening to this, and I went again and again and again. And by the time I got back to Fool in the Rain, I'm I had to consciously open my m mind up to the whole song instead of just Bonham. This this is such a fantastic channel, Polyphonic. I'd like to give a shout out to that. Totally into it. The the authenticity of the drums, the sound of Robert Plant's voice, the guitar distortion on this track that Paige is using, it sounds absolutely fucking amazing. Let me get back to the drummer thing. So I wanted to be a drummer. I'm 10 years old. The guy's talking about how we're going to do this, this, and that. We're going to start off with jazz. Watching this video right here, right here, this guy talks about John Bonham's influences came from jazz drummers and I think he also said um, uh, jazz drummers and also uh, uh, James Brown for a period of time whoever was his drummer or the way that they played behind James Brown were influences for John Bonham if my drum teacher had said hey little man that group that you got right on your shirt you know where that I can tell who he's inspired by. Like, if that guy had known more, I might have become a drummer. Like, that, that, well, I don't want to play jazz. Why do I want to play jazz? And I'm watching a guy who was my idol since a kid, and one of his influences was a jazz drummer. A, a couple of them, actually. Ten year old kids should not be able to make major decisions. I, I could have been a drummer. Fuck. Um, they're going to be doing a full review for this. The, the way that this sounds is unique to anything that I've heard mm, and it's appealing too. It, this set totally why is this not being is it because I have a Japanese version and a lot of people it, I don't think the tuning's that different they said like 5% or some number that I don't know what they're attaching that to this sounds awesome everything I listened to I sampled like let me check that out and let me check out a Hendrix solo and everything I listened to just sounded it had a it imagine everything else that you have and the a piece of cheesecloth is between it and your ears and one thing doesn't have that little piece of cheesecloth that you pull back that's what this sounds like it doesn't it's not getting it via elevated treble that sounds harsh rough even elevated actually it's a very weird experience did, did this video makes no sense I'm sure it makes none well, a 10 year old wanting to learn drums talking about jazz watching a video about Bonham because I was inspired because I was listening to a track and then they're talking about his influence was jazz and I instantly went back to being 10 years old that was the reason that I went home and said mom I don't want to take drums what's wrong Chris why don't you want to I don't want to take drums I don't want to play jazz I don't want to well maybe that's a I don't want to like once a kid 10 year old's uh, done he's uh, I was done I don't want to play jazz I don't listen to jazz I don't want to play jazz oh no 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 the guy that I loved is that at that age probably was listening to the same people that this guy was about to introduce me to and listening to Bonham on this set is fantastic. The bass is as good as anything I've heard. The vocals are amazing. The IRZ1R sounds slightly thin and recessed, which is all right, but there's a there's an authenticity to the UM MEST that doesn't exist with the IRZ1R. I can't fucking believe I'm saying this. Holy shit. Who who has reviewed this? Has this not been and if the Japanese version is different from others, I I would implore anybody who's 
you know, financially secure to give this set a check because it sounds amazing with my library, which is dominated by 70s classic rock, um, hip hop, 90s hip hop, reggae. Um, I got 90s rock too, 80s stuff too. Um, I'll let you guys go. I'm gonna, I'm definitely, obviously gonna do a full review for this because part of it's gonna be a comparison with the IERZ one R. And I got the Odin coming in tomorrow, which according to people is a, a refined LX, which is exactly what I've been looking for to put next to the Sony. And the day before that arrives, which if that turns out to be as awesome as I think it's going to be, then I've got two sets pretty much back to back that are suddenly in the realm of the irz one r when nothing else was prior to this past few days in its zip code and now there's one back to back i don't have any connection with unique melody i paid full price for this set it, it was bought in japan i believe it was fulfilled by mixwave i've got the receipt in the box over there and before i let you guys go if you want to listen to something and really focus on it and really evaluate something, I guess doing it, you know, listen to music. Mm, I listen to Fool in the Rain isolated, just just done by the drummer. I listen to someone else play it, did a cover of it, and then I listen to a teacher teaching it. He went very slow, section by section. The, the hi-hat is keeping a time and the kick drum actually and the ride is keeping on different time. It's actually uh um it seems very simple, but it's actually not. And maybe if I had stuck with being a drummer, I could have done stuff like this. I literally thought about my life could have gone another direction if I had if the teacher had said, you know, that Oh, you like uh, you're ten years old. I get it. You're not into jazz. I, there's a chance that the music you like is probably influenced by jazz, as a lot of um, musicians uh, at that time were. Like it, that guy could have grabbed me. You just dump jazz on a ten year old's lap and and think that that's going to be all right. I don't know. Fuck. So I wrote down right here. Must add "Fool in the Rain" drums for all future bass evaluation because it's so clear. It's so good. I have a very good version of it. It sounded good on the Sony. Now I got to do a video about the Sony because is this really good? Because these sound awesome on that. Or are these just that good that it doesn't really matter that much what you put it on if there's enough power? I'm out. I, I, I did. This should have taken three minutes. Sorry. Wow. Wow.